Let's start with Keandre Lambert-Smith. He's a returning starter, senior, leader of the offense. Last year he had 52 catches, 673 yards, four touchdowns, his longest catch being a 72-yard bomb to start off the season against West Virginia. Everyone remembers that play. Come on. Stripe out West Virginia. I believe it was our first offensive drive. And Alar drops back, steps up to avoid the pressure, off of one foot, delivers a strike just before the defender gets there. And Lambert Smith makes a beautiful catch downfield, takes it all the way to the house, 72 yards. That was the best play of the season for Penn State. And it was on our first offensive drive. I remember, you know, working that game. Uh, I'm just amazed. I'm in awe. I c- just so many thoughts flying through my head at that moment. Like, is this the new era of Penn State football? That was Drew Aller's first touchdown pass as a starter for Penn State. And you see that, and the crowd's going crazy. You're going crazy. The expectations all of a sudden became a reality. All the preseason hype was becoming real in that moment and so the fact that that happened and then that was the best play of the entire season felt so so disappointing people talk about last season's offense as a disappointment and I think that's why is because the offense flashed potential that was as high as the ceiling as high as the sky The offense showed so much potential at moments last year. But that was the best play of the season. For KLS, that 72-year catch, that was his best play of the year. Him and Aller were just unable to replicate the success they had against West Virginia. KLS is a very versatile receiver. He's the only player in Penn State history with multiple 80-yard receptions. Uh, One of them is that 88-yard play against Utah in the Rose Bowl a couple years ago. I have on my intro, and that play was a crucial play. That connection between him, KLS, and Sean Clifford was great. 